So then at some point in college, you decided to take a Russian class. Signed up for a Russian class. Thought it was Spanish. And uh, three classes later, I was like, oh, this is Russian. This is not what I signed up for. Mm -hmm. And the teacher was hot. And she was like, hey, man, if you stay, I'll just give you a C. And so I took Russian one, two, three, and four and got C's all the way through. I was just telling someone the like elongated version of this story. But it, yeah, it was, it, I took, I ended up taking a Russian literature class. Mm -hmm. Like, because you could just C's in it. And then the end of Russian four, they're like, hey, you want to go to Russia? And my dad was the one who was like, buddy, this will change your life. He had gone to Italy when he was in high school. Mm -hmm. He was like, best trip of my life. You got to go. So my dad told me to go, met with the head of the Russian department. And the guy was sat down in the, in the foreign languages lab, smoking a cigarette, said something to me in Russian. And I go, I don't know what you're saying. And he looked at the teacher and he's like, he really doesn't know how to speak Russian at all. She's like, not at all. He was like, listen, I'm going to be very direct with you. You're really close to getting a major in Russian. Like, you've taken a lot of classes. <laughs> After going to Russia, if you go, you will be really close. So you got to promise me, if we go, we'll give you C's. You don't have to worry about taking the test. But you'll never take another Russian class. I was like, done. So we went to Russia. Because they didn't want you to major in Russian. I, I was like, I was like, <laughs> I was like close to a major in Old Church Slavonic by this time. <laughs> so yeah, that, and so I, I went to Russia, took classes over there. Okay, and you had a little quote about Russia uh, during that time. You said, "I grew up in the beauty of the Cold War, when we knew who our enemies were, and it wasn't racist to hate them." So I knew very little about the Soviet Union growing up. Uh, the Russians were cold, unpleasant people who rarely smiled. Mostly because their clothes were gray and uncomfortable. Their women had moles and their men had drinking problems. That's, I wrote that <clears> in my book. I, I was really pretty when you say it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As a Russian. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I, I grew up in Cold War Russia in America as a kid named Vlad. Yeah. In, in an area where there were no other Russians. So it, it was hell during that time. A lot of fist fights, oh. a, lot of, a lot of conflict. Uh, if my name was like Vincent, my, my, my life could have been very different, but <laughs> instead it's Vlad's Vlad. A, Vlad's, a, Vlad's a, Igor is probably worse than Vlad, because mm. Igor was the name that, you know, that was like the villain's name in every movie we had growing up. Right. Like. Igor, fetch me a brain. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you go to Russia during the Cold War times, and I guess there was a big uh, Russian mob influence at the time. Mm -hmm. So uh, that actually affected your trip. Yeah, we... I found out, I've been getting into this story a lot lately. We're doing a movie uh, based on this story. Really? Yeah, we're doing, it's in development over at, uh, at Legendary. And, and so I'm, okay. writing, I'm working with the writers to talk about the story. And, and so they're like, they're asking me questions like this. And I'm, I've been going deeper than I do the story. The story is meant for stage. It's mm -hmm. meant to move smoothly, have a good beginning, beginning, middle, and end, a few tags in it, a bunch of jokes. And, uh, but, but yeah, we went. We went in 90, I think 95, and so this is after the wall had fell, mm -hmm. fallen. And, after uh, communism fell. After communism fell. Yeah. And, um, and on the flight over, my teacher that I'd taken all the classes with sat next to me in the plane, undid her pants, and she had a wad of cash in a fanny pack. And she explained to me, we're paying off the mafia to keep us safe. And I was like, I was like, I was like, this is gonna be the greatest trip ever. I'm like, immediately, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna have a freaking blast. And so yeah, so we paid off the mafia to keep us safe. And okay. they lived with us. They walked us to class, walked us back from class, and their room was right next door to mine, literally right next door to mine. And so the first night, no Russian went out, walked the streets of Moscow or uh, Saint Petersburg, got vodka, Baltica, which is their beer, a lemon and some sugar. So we were gonna do lemon drops, right? That's the only way I drank vodka. Knocked on their door and I was like, uh, uh, by the way, my whole Russian's horrible. I know you're gonna. Uh, my name is Bert. Very pleasant to meet you. Something about a cat. I work pussy. You work pussy. Okay. <laughs> Didn't translate out right. But, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And by the way, this is the one part that no one ever understands of this story is it doesn't matter because the second the door opens, I'm face to face with a, a, like a, a dude who's not smiling, who just literally members only jacket. I remember he had a members only jacket members on. Members only I jacket. Say, I say tattoos, wife beater, track pants because that's the story. But in real life, just had a members only jacket on. He just stared at me and goes, Sto. What I was trying to say, and you'll understand this, is I'm the man. Yamashina? And I said, mm -hmm. Yamashinu, which means I'm a car. And he started laughing hysterically and just goes, come on in. Paidium. And he brought me in and he said to his friends, he goes, say it again. And I didn't know what I'd said, 
but I knew that it got me this far, so I said, I'm the machine. And they started laughing, and that's all I knew how to say. He spoke English, a little bit of English, enough, a lot of English, and they didn't, and the whole night. And then, and then, and then I pulled out the lemon and the sugar to do a lemon drop of vodkas, and one of the guys goes, oh, the machine runs on lemons. And the place <laughs> fell out laughing. Okay. And then I became friends with them.